Hey there beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Naturally Liz and on this channel I talk about all things beautiful, especially fragrances. Whether this is your first time watching or you are returning, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. In today's video, I'm super excited. I'm excited because I have a mini Middle Eastern fragrance haul for you guys. Cheapest fragrance haul ever. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts, or you just want to hang out with moi, then keep on watching. Before we get into the video, guys, I always do some type of positive affirmation before I start my videos. And today's affirmation is, I will put my well-being above all. Listen, we love to smell good. We love to look good. But if we are not putting our well-being first, taking, taking care of ourselves, physically, mentally, then what is the point of all of this? Now on to the video. So you guys, I have some Starbucks. I've been sipping on this for like two and a half hours. I am actually taking Manjaro, not that you guys care, but if you care and you want to know how that's going, if you're interested in hearing how that is affecting me, let me know. I am knocking at the door of di diabetes as well as um, my weight isn't where it should be. So this does both. About a month ago, I posted a video and someone in the comments said, please talk more about Middle Eastern fragrances. And I value what you guys say. I'm going to put content out there that you want to see. So my response was, I don't have any. Can you give me some recommendations? And they named some things. Now, if you watch this, this channel, you know that that's not true. I do have some. I don't know if I was tweaking that day. I don't know what happened, but I do have fragrances. And I was thinking, girl, I think what really happened is once I smelled Shaga food, I felt like all Middle Eastern fragrances smell like that. And if it didn't smell like that, then it's not a real Middle Eastern fragrance anyway. I decided to do some research. I've watched some content creators here that talk mostly about Middle Eastern fragrances. I've watched Seed Chronicles, you guys. She is like the guru of Middle Eastern fragrances. I watched another young lady. I will post her picture up and I'm gonna put everybody's channel down below. She has some wonderful Middle Eastern content as well as, is it Naturally Helen? She talks about fragrances as well. So I'm new to their channels and I love their content decided to make some purchases based off of their recommendations and I'm gonna show you what I have. So this first one, actually no one recommended this. When I was on Amazon looking for fragrances and how much they cost, this little baby caught my eye. The bottle is what drew my attention to it. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And then the price, it was $20, y'all. This is actually a fragrance oil from Swiss Arabian and this is called a Molly. Isn't this like the cutest bottle ever? Like I just see this type of bottle, maybe not this style, sitting on Marilyn Monroe's vanity, Rita Haywood, Lana Turner, like someone from back in the day, Dorothy Jan Dandridge. I just honestly see that. Look at this. Isn't that cute? So this is like a fruity, woodsy scent. And when I first put it on, I dabbed here, I put it in my arm right here, and I put it on my pulse points. And I started work, I started work at eight o'clock. When I first smelled this, it was like this really sweet, fresh, ripe, very ripe pineapple, like extremely juicy. I was like, oh, okay, that smells good. Then it started to get a little powdery but as I was smelling it, I said, this smells like something that you smelled before. What is it? I didn't know. Like it was tickling. You know how it's like right there in your mind. Couldn't think of it. Started doing my work, but it was just bothering me. Then it all of a sudden hit me. Ding, ding. See Passione by Armani, the original. This guy's smells so similar it is crazy i looked up the notes on fragrantica and they are so similar very similar fruity notes florals woodiness and the dry down like when i tell you guys 
almost spot on to me. Crazy. And the longevity on this, all day. I smelled it on me, still at lunchtime. Very prominent. I go to lunch at 1.30. At the end of my shift, 4.30. I was like, girl, you still care? Don't you have some business to do? Not that it was a loud smell, but it was still there. For an oil, this performs beautifully. And I could see myself layering this with something. Wonderful. $20, y'all. Okay? $20. Okay. So the next fragrance I have, this was actually talked about on a lot of channels. And I have a friend that sends me uh, perfume TikToks. And this one was talked about a lot. And this is a Yara by La Tafa. It came in this box and it has this little sticker on it that I, uh, I think it means that this is an actual La Tafa fragrance. $31 on Amazon, you guys. So this is what the bottle looks like if you haven't seen it. I do think Sunny talked about this uh, in one of her channels as well. This isn't an ugly bottle. It's just different from anything I've seen pink cute i think they have a white one yara moy and they have an orange one yara tooth that just came out so when i first smelled this fragrance i sprayed it on me actually i didn't smell anything nothing i was like dang it i don't smell anything so i sprayed myself again and i was able to smell it a little more and then that same thing that happened with this oil this smells familiar to me what is this couldn't think of it. And I asked my daughter, because she smelled me, and she said, yeah, it smells like uh, Laura Mercier, Ombre Vanille. I said, dang, gone it, girl, that's it? Yes, this smells very similar. Looked up the notes, they are very similar. There is no coconut or almonds in here as it is in Ombre Vanille, but the top notes are the same with that tangerine. This has some uh, vanilla in it, some gourmand notes. This right here, guys, once this started to dry down, heaven, heaven. Just, I, I was like, okay, girl, that's you smelling like this? Yes. It, oh, my gosh. The tangerine note in here is a little tart to me. And if you didn't like that tangerine note in ombre vanille, uh, it may have smelled plasticky. I think that's what I've heard some people say. Never fear, Yara by La Tapa is here. This smells like ombre vanille, but better. As this developed more on my skin, it became creamier, sweeter, tropical vibes. I've read some people said uh, strawberry milkshake. I don't get strawberry milkshake. I get tropical milkshake are there tropical milkshakes i don't know but that's what i get from this this is is delicious creamy oh my god oh, it's addictive i have worn this to bed every night since i've gotten this fragrance that's how good this is it's comforting to me gives me netflix and chill vibes i don't know if this leaves a sillage because i haven't worn it outside my house but in the house, I love this. When I wake up in the morning, I smell this on my pajamas. And I'm just like, oh. I lay there and I inhale the goodness of this fragrance. Light, kind of fluffy, very creamy, tropical fruits, a little tart to me. This is just, mwah. I've never done that before, but chef's kiss. Hats off to the top of $31 on Amazon. If you don't have it and you like a good tropical, creamy, kind of fluffy fragrance, get it and tell me what you think. Now, this next one I have, you guys, this is La Aventure uh, film, for film from Al Haramain. And I got this because I have um, Creed Aventus before her, but it's almost gone thanks to my partner. So I decided I wanted to try this because y'all know that Creed Aventus for her is expensive. And I thought that this would be a good one. I have June New, uh, New York by uh, Al Harmain, and I thought, okay, let's give this a try. So this is how it comes. 
This is the bottle that has my fingerprints oof, on it because I have obviously worn it. And it's a cute bottle. This does give me creative vintage for her vibes. This was $28 on Jomo Shop. It has this very tart green apple opening, just like Creative Ventus for her powdery, fresh fragrance. But this one is not my vibe. To me, Creative Ventus for her, both of these are unisex, but Creative Ventus for her leans more feminine and this leans more masculine. That's my problem with this fragrance. I'm the girly girl. I will do a unisex fragrance, but I still like it more feminine than masculine. This one to me, just all day masculine vibes. I actually wanted to take it off, but I was working and I had to just go off through the day. Not that this is a bad scent, don't get me wrong, but it just was really strong in the masculinity. And that's just not for me. And I smelled the Creed of Ventus and I said, no, I like this one better. Now, if you guys know of a Creed of Ventus for her dupe that smells more on the feminine side, let me know. Man or woman could pull this off. Anyone can pull this off. But for me, because it leaned more masculine, it's not my vibe. And I'm probably not going to keep it. It does smell good, though. Don't get me wrong, just not for me. Okay, guys, so this last fragrance, I was influenced, but not by a Middle Eastern YouTuber. Abby on Cherries TV talks about this fragrance a lot. All last winter, she was talking about how good this was and is it Nabras, which I want to try. That's supposed to be um, similar to Eilish, which I own. She always talking about how good this was. And I saw some other YouTubers talk about this. I want to say Rose and Carmen. Um, but when I looked at the price, it was $70. And I was like, oh, I don't want to buy it. I already have Angel Share, which this is supposed to be a dupe of. This is La Tapa's Camera. And also has that little holographic sticker on the back. But during Prime, Prime sale, guys. This was $33. $33? Yes. So I was like, okay, wait. $33, girl. You can try this, okay? So I purchased it. It's actually like $35 now, I think, on Amazon. Still great. Before I take this out, let's appreciate this packaging, guys. Come through Latafa. Oh, my gosh. I love this. And when you pull it out... It has this mirror on here. Like, I love this box. Very good job, Latafa, with this packaging. So if I didn't mention, this is supposed to be similar to Killian's Angel Share. The bottle is similar. I get the Angel Share vibes. Now, I haven't worn this. I only sprayed it on the back of my hand because it's just too hot for me right now. But when I sprayed it on the back of my hand, and you can spray, smell it through the itemizer, oh, it smells so good, so, so good. This is great. I don't know how it performs. I will find out later on, but this smells very similar to Angel Share. Angel Share is more boozier. To me, this is sweet, very sweet, like sweeter. There's praline in here and dates, and I definitely uh, can smell that a lot as I sprayed it on the back of my hand, smelled it through the bottle. Like that comes out a lot to me. There's also cinnamon here in the opening. There is something in here. I don't know what that does give it slight boozy vibes, but Angel Share with that cognac has more booziness going on. Ooh, this smells addictive. I know some people says apple pie, but I get more praline. Like Pralines and cream is my favorite ice cream. If you know me well, I make weekly trips. Well, before the Manjaro, I would make weekly trips to Baskin Robbins and get one scoop of pralines and cream in a cup. That's what this smells like, along with the dates and the cinnamon. It's really strong. I am super excited to wear this. Guys, buy this now if you're interested while it's 35, because when it gets cold outside, 
I have a feeling they're going to hike this up back to $70. Get this. Let me know what you think. If you have it, let me know what you think. I feel like this is going to be great. And I already have a layering combo for this, guys. Ambrosia Imperial for this and Angel Share. This together with uh, Ambrosia, I think this is going to be a whole vibe. I'm really feeling that. I actually did Angel Share with Ambrosia in the house. And I thought it was really good, but I want to test it out more when it gets cold outside. Okay, guys, so that is the end of my Middle Eastern fragrance haul. I'm really excited about these Middle Eastern fragrances because the bottles, they don't all look the same. They look more like the original fragrance that they're inspired by. And they are so cost effective. And your girl is trying to save some money. I have some fragrances that I have my eye on that are more expensive, but if I can get some good stuff at a decent price, come through Middle Eastern fragrances. I'm super excited about it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share with someone. Sharing is caring. And until we meet again, guys, remember how blessed and highly favored you are. Stay safe and hydrated, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.